Hello, Marine Science. So you all are going to be conducting some research on different scientists in the marine science field. I'm going to show you how you can use some of our library resources to conduct your research and get you started. So let's do that now. So anytime you're accessing library resources, you always want to start on the Dartmouth High School homepage here. We're going to be working within this library tab. If you are on the Dartmouth page and you don't see this library tab, it may mean that's because you're on a different school page within the district. So to make sure you're on the high school page, just go up to select the school and select Dartmouth High School. To start accessing the databases, you want to hover over the library tab and scroll down to research databases. Click on that. So these are all of the databases that the library subscribes to. For your marine science project, I'm going to suggest you use Facts on File. This database does require an additional username and password. So once you click on that, you're going to be asked to enter this username and password. Dartmouth, Dartmouth for both. Here's where you enter that. Okay, so this is the main page for InfoBase or Facts on File. Those two names are interchangeable. You can see that it's divided by subject. So you guys are working within a science class. So I suggest that you start using this science online. Click on that. So here's the layout of the Science Online database. Uh, there's a browse section up here where you can see quickly the different topics that you can search. Um, same thing over here on the right. They've got some featured videos, some interactive experiments. Um, but you guys know what you're searching. So you're searching for different scientists within the marine science field. If you don't have any idea of who you want to research, I suggest doing a broad search in the search bar here for marine scientists. You can browse these articles and see if anything jumps out at you, but over here under narrow results, you can see this biography section, and by clicking on that, it's going to pull out all different scientists within the marine scientist field. So most of these are going to be brief overviews about the scientists. So you can click on different ones and browse. Say if you find one that you're interested in, let's try this Robert Ballard. Read a little bit about him. You can always, if you decide that you want to find some more info on this person, you can now, now that you have a name to start with, you can search his name right within the search bar. And now, in addition to the biography article, there will be other articles on him to give you a little bit more research about the work that he has done and his life. The nice thing about using databases for, for this research is that all of the information has already been vetted for you as credible resources. So that means that you don't have to worry about navigating the vast amount of information that you might find from a Google search and, and trying to figure out if it's a credible source. You can certainly start with Google if you're feeling lost. If you find something on a Google search, I suggest then taking that person and plugging it right here into the database and seeing what you can find. Now, I know for this project, you need to find an image. And a lot of these databases don't have images in their articles. Let's click on one to see if this one does. So again, I suggest once you have this person's name, Robert Ballard, just going into a new Google tab. Searching for your scientist and finding an image of him that way. I hope this helps. Please feel free to let me know if you have any questions. I'm always available by email or if you want to jump into my face, it's emilygoodwin at dartmouthschools.org.
Thank you. Good luck.